Introducing the Bar City Boys, Gino the Don, Banger. This song's for all the dime mass women out here tonight. No games, no gimmicks. Y'all know what y'all want. Y'all know what we want. Yeah, let's do this. Girls with time body moves like a snake. Cold body shake. Hands on the waist. She looks in my face and smiles. Says, Daddy, I do hate you wanna smile. Girls with time body moves like a snake. Cold body shake. Hands on the waist. She looks in my face. <laughs> All right, so I'm redoing this video because I originally did it on my BlackBerry Bold. I mean, on my playbook, and for some reason, can't get that video to the computer. I don't know what's going on. But in February, there's an update for that. But anyways, we're here today doing an unboxing for the Mix Track, the new Mark Mix Track Pro, using my handy dandy, beautiful video camera. Um. I already opened this and checked to make sure everything was in there, so it's already open. But I'm going to show you guys what's what comes with it. Um, again, the main reason I do these these unboxings is because every time I try to look for a product that I want to buy that costs money, um, I want to make sure I, I'm, I want to make sure I want it. So I check for videos to see what comes in it. I check to see how people use it, how people like it. And a lot of times their videos suck. No offense to those guys. Shout out to all of them though that try right because I love those videos even though some don't help me because I can see at least see the product and whatnot um, so what we're doing is uh, I had a, a Hercules RMX and um, I got rid of it I sold it because um, it's too it wasn't it was too much stuff for me like I don't that's just a DJ MIDI controller that I, I didn't really... It was cool and I liked it, but I wanted to get something smaller. This is longer than the Hercules, but I want something smaller. It's something to work, not with uh, Virtual DJ Limited Edition, even though that this comes with Virtual DJ Limited Edition. You could upgrade to the Pro for 150 so you get a discount. And I might do that later on, but right now I'm using the DJ Software 4.0. And I'll show that to you in a minute. Um... And it works for the Mac, only for the Mac, and it, it works great with iTunes, and that's the type of DJing that I do. And 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 it upgraded from what it was before, and I'll do a different review on that on a different video. But thanks for watching. So this is the unboxing. Again, this is the Mix Track, uh, Newmark Mix Track Pro DJ software controller. This one has the audio interface in it. Um, uh, let's see. You can probably take a look down here if you want to look. Got the large touch sensitive platters, classic dual deck layout. Um, so it lights up, it's USB powered, it's for Mac and PC, um, includes the, the Virtual DJ Limited Edition, and this works with, you know, almost any software. So, let's get to opening this, so this video is not movie length, alright? So, here's a little flap there, it open, new mark, bam. Again, I already opened this, so, I mean... You have the USB. Look at my mess. You have the USB uh, cable here, powering cable. Now this this comes prepackaged. Oh, this comes prepackaged in the bag. Um, so like I said before, I took it out already. Um, then this comes like oh, and then you have some you have some uh, some manuals in here. All right. So real quick, because we all know what manuals look like. Virtual DJ Limited Edition. You got the things you have to do before you plug in the virtual, uh, the new mark in the Mac or computer. You got uh, five different language safety instructions, and then you, of course, have the manual, which uh, it just has what all the buttons are called and stuff. So that's good for beginners, I guess. All right, and now the device. Pull it up here. I'm gonna start doing unboxings with the actual camera because it grips in my hand. It's better. Put this aside. Because I do these alone. My little brother doesn't come by anymore, so he doesn't help me. So, anyways. Comes with these styrofoam pieces. Pull it off. 
throw in there, same on this end. Um, and this a lot, some most of this is taped on when you first get it. Uh, not to the machine really, you just gotta pry it off, pull it off little by little. Let me try to, actually let me do it this way so you guys can. There you go. Just slide it off. All right, and here's the machine. So, what we have here is, really quick, uh, maybe later on I'll do a review on the actual device. This is just an unboxing. Um, we got the crossfader here. Um, now this feels plastic, but it's, it's quite heavy. Um, so it's not that cheap feel, you know, you still feel a good, it's, it's pretty, pretty sturdy. You have your sink. Q play and stutter buttons, your crossfader, same on this side, the mixers in the middle, so you got your gain for deck A, gain for deck B, your master gain. Over here, since it has the I.O. inside, the audio interface, you got plugs for your headphones, and you got plugs for your mic, and the mic gain, so the volume for the mic. Over here, we got the buttons to load, um, this right here is for browsing so you don't even have to use the computer to browse you know your cue know which one you're queuing up um, you got your key locks your your pitch level over here your pitch bends up here your delete button for your hot cues three hot cues um, you got your effects your effects you can press this one down to select it press this to, to play it these are to control it. This is, I forget what they call this button. This is your wet and dry though. Um, and then you got your loops here. Over here you got the deck A's, treble, mid, and bass. And same thing over here on this side. In the middle now, very important for the DJs that cue with headphones. This is your cue mix. So when it's over here to cue, on your headphones you hear the cue. When it's over here, you hear everything that's coming out the speakers, okay? This is the volume. For the for the for the headphones for the Qmix, um, same thing on this side. Um, but basically that's it. Oh, and in the back, you have your input and outputs for the RCA stereo for the speakers, and then where the USB plugs in. Um, but that's basically it. And I've used it. Took me a little while to figure out the Qin because I had a I had something going on with the computer, but we fixed that. Um, so that's the new Newmark Mix Track Pro. Um, I mean, I'm not doing a review yet, but this is pretty sturdy to mix on. They're bigger than the Hercules, and that's another reason why I wanted them mainly, mainly because. Um, oh, look, and I think there's a plastic in here, so I don't have to worry about scratching anything. Yep. So this is metal, but there's plastic here protecting it, so that's cool. Uh, um, yeah, the Hercules was smaller, so you couldn't really mix well, and this seems to be working fine so far. I'm going to keep messing with it. Um, using the DJ 4.0 software for Mac, so you can look that up. I'll put a link down there in the description for for that. Um, look out for a review coming maybe in a, two or three weeks, two weeks maybe. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe. You know, leave comments, questions. I try to get back to everybody. I'm not a pro at DJing or nothing. I'm trying to, trying to start doing my thing and whatnot, but uh, mostly in Spanish, but I do some English, so, but that's it, um, gotta go, battery's dying, gotta charge it to do my, my mini unboxing on the OtterBox uh, commuter case, which is awesome, um, but thanks for watching, peace, peace, peace!